Welcome to Pastor Jerome TV. I'm going to share a very important video with you. I'd love for you to share it with everyone because this woman, Angela Stanton King, is going to destroy the long-standing black and democratic reasoning for abortion. She's running for office against John Lewis, the one who shed his blood in Selma. And uh, But this video, this woman is so intelligent and so powerful, she even made the demons come out of these people. They were, they were all done. You hear me? So I'm not going to play the whole video. I'm going to put the video, the full video in the video description box. That way you can watch it later. But I just want to share the first few minutes with you. All right. Here we go. In the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela E. Show me the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest on the Zoom right now. We have Angela Stanton King. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for having me on the show. Well, Angela, tell them a little bit about yourself. You are you're running for Congress in Georgia right now, right? <laughs> I'm running for Congress in Georgia in the fifth district um, against John Lewis. I am from Atlanta, been there most of my life. Um, most of you may know my story from a while back. I spent some time in prison um, for a nonviolent charge. Ended up giving birth to my daughter, you know, chained to a bed, came home, went through a lot of trials and tribulations to get to where I am today. Ended up using my story to not only pass the First Step Act, but also make it illegal for women to be chained during childbirth. I ended up getting a full pardon from the president, and now I'm running for Congress to use my story, to use my experiences, and bring hope to our people. You got to Uh-oh, you know the next question. You got a pardon from Trump? Oh, no. Uh, uh, President Trump. Full pardon from okay. President Trump. I now, do you think that you would be I... a Trump Do you think you would be a Trump supporter if he hadn't pardoned you? I supported Trump before I got a pardon. Hmm. And why do you why do you support Trump? What, what values do you see Trump that, that make you a supporter? I support it. What values do you see that make you a supporter? <laughs> His policies. He's the first president that's for pro-life. There are you know, nearly 60 million black babies that have been aborted since Roe v. Wade passed. And if we talk about Black Lives Matter, then we know that Black Lives Matter even in the womb. He also signed the most historic criminal justice reform that I had a part of. And we freed over 7,000 people from prison. 91% of them were black. He's also permanently funded HBCUs. He also lifted the federal ban that was against faith-based HBCUs. Yes. You know, before COVID hit, we had the lowest black unemployment. The fact that the man was willing to listen to someone like me and allow me to influence him to not only pass the First Step Act, but make it illegal for women to give birth in chains, I realized that this man is not the man that they're proclaiming him to be. You know, I don't, I don't have any problem with a, a person voting their interest. Uh, I saw a quote you said. You said, I credit, I credit President Trump for being my inspiration. Before she became active in conservative politics, I was a lifelong Democrat just because. Well, you know, monkey see, monkey do. I was just doing everything that my family was doing. I guess we had all been duped. Yes. So what made you, uh, you know, get away from the Democratic Party? Well, when I, my own story, when I came home from prison, I mean, I was a convicted felon. I was a single mother. I had four children waiting for me. They gave me a $25 check and a bus ticket and said, here, go start your life over. Well, we had absolutely nowhere to go. I couldn't get the welfare that I'd been able to get before. I couldn't get any housing assistance. So I had to figure out how I was going to make it. I had a God-given gift, which was writing. So I wrote my life story. From there, I went on to being a national best-selling author and then starting my own publishing company. Not only that, the part about being a single mother, remembering when I was getting those benefits and how Section 8 said, you know, as a single mother, we'll help you and your children, but the father can't live in the home. Or when I was receiving welfare, they'll say, okay, you'll get this certain amount of money at the beginning every month, but you can only make a certain amount. It wasn't until I was denied government benefits and nobody wanted to help me that I discovered my greatness. And so this road to entrepreneurship is how I eventually became free. And I know if we really want to be free as a people, we got to reduce poverty because once we reduce poverty, we reduce crime. 
we need more entrepreneurs. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. You can do that as part of any party, though. Even or being an independent, you don't have to be a part of a party to do that, though, right? Well, I mean, I for me personally, I'm a conservative because I don't believe in handouts. I believe in hand up. When we talk about the Democratic Party, it's a large work to focus on welfare, right? People only need welfare for a certain amount of time. We don't need to become lifelong welfare recipients. I'm also not. Have oh, we lost you? Here we go. I'm sorry. I'm also not a Democrat because of abortion. This is my thing. Roe v. Wade was passed off of a lie. As of right now, where we are, we're always crying about being an oppressed minority. But we are always going to be an oppressed minority if we continue to abort our offspring. Abortion is the biggest genocide against Black America. They strategically place their abortion clinics in our neighborhoods, and every time you just about every time you hear a Democratic candidate go on stage, the first thing they say is Black women need access to abortion. So if we really want to restore the value to our own lives, if we really you want to say right, though, a woman's rights for abortion, I like, just want to know if a girl, was, if a girl, like let's say a sixteen-year-old girl was raped or somebody was raped and they're pregnant, and they don't want to have that child, they don't want to have that experience. You don't feel, feel like it's a woman's right to have an abortion. So they talk about women's rights and women's choice. We need to first figure out why the government gave us a choice to kill our children and get away with it. Because as a man, you make the child. If you wanted to kill the baby, you would go to jail. You don't have a right to decide whether or not your child lives. Neither should a woman. Even in the instance of rape, let's just talk about it because I've been raped before. I have a 27-year-old daughter that's a lawyer still deciding to choose life because at the end of the day, that child is still partly mine. Now, if you can't kill the person who raped you, why are we killing the child? And in addition to that, rape is only 1% of abortions. So the argument that's on the floor right now about abortion is the Democrats wanting to fund it. It's not necessarily taking away a woman's right, which I don't believe any woman should want a right. Because here's the thing, you're taking away someone else's right to live. Well, I'm I definitely pro-choice, quick, and I, I highly disagree. I'm, uh, I'm pro-choice, and one of, the, one of the reasons I'll say that is because, one of the reasons I'll say that is because I think history has proven that when abortion was illegal, women were still having abortions, and they were doing them in very unsafe ways and dying from them. So that will still continue to go on. And then the only people who had access were people who could pay for private physicians so that they were able to travel, go get okay, that done, so, pay a large sum of money. So that actually something. endangered our people who were living in private because something. they couldn't afford to go to a private doctor. Let me tell you something. A baby dies every time in an abortion. Every time a woman has an abortion, a baby dies. You can't say black lives matter and don't include the black lives that are in the womb. Now, when you're talking about health care... Is it a fetus or a baby? Let's talk about... It, uh, look up the definition of a fetus. A fetus is a human baby. Now, when you're talking about health care and in the black community, we need to remember the Negro Project and Title X funds. When you go research the history of Planned Parenthood, the founder, Margaret Sanger, was a racist. The Negro Project was about them implementing birth controls into our population, into our communities to keep us from populating to keep us from reproducing now the thing of it is when you guys say you're pro-choice you have to think about this the word in the trick why is it pro-life and then pro-choice because the opposite of life is death the choice is death so what we have to decide now is when we are voting is are you going to vote for your children your future children to die or your future children to live why not give them it's still a access choice. to it's a choice what's the choice though Life or death. Okay, so why would a mother choose death for a child? Everybody that's here, even all of us on this live, we got here because our mamas got pregnant. At the end of the day, it's somebody's life. So how is it that I don't think everybody that... that's advocating for abortion has never been aborted? How are you how are you going to get someone else's right to live? Because if you understand lifespan development, you know that we all go from being an embryo to a fetus to an infant to a toddler to a child to a teenager it's a life so when you guys context, say black matters, lives context matter, matters though context matters though if a woman got raped and i i understand you say it's less than one percent but if a woman got raped i wouldn't expect her to carry that child 
Okay, so even, so listen, Not so even, let's just say that's fair, and that's and that's the decision for it. If they say, okay, we're gonna make this exception, if a woman is raped, let her make that decision. We still end in somebody else's life that didn't commit the rape. Let's remember that. But what about the other ninety nine percent? What about the fact that every time you see an advertisement for Planned Parenthood, it's targeting black women? What about the fact that 46% of our population has been aborted since 1974 when Roe v. Wade was passed? So when we're talking about the black vote and how we are the minority, why are we not waking up and realizing that we are not only killing our own army, but also aborting our votes? So what I would like to do as a congressman, because I promise you, everybody is voting for our children to die on the democrat side i would love to bring balance i would love to give opportunity to women because look you can't tell me that the only way i can survive and be successful is by having an abortion when i'm a woman that came home from prison and raised four kids on my own which are all a blessing so if we want them to value our lives then we need to begin to value the lives of our offspring my one vote on the floor the only thing it's going to do is bring balance because at the end of the day I want to say black life. Uh, I still believe in a woman's right to choose what to do with her body and her reproduction. Yeah. And, see, and I still believe as, 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 as you, you it is her body. Have the same body. But you and your mother don't have the same body. It's not her body. So again, it's y'all, inside of her body. It's a baby inside of her body. It's still an embryo. Baby. So if you can live but with. I still feel that as history has shown, women, women, women are still going to have abortions, whether or not it's illegal, and it's a very dangerous practice. So that's that an excuse happen. to support a racist organization that has so wiped we would, out half of our race. We would, ra- we would to rather. Support, uh, to support what? Is that an excuse to support a racist organization that has wiped out half of the black race? Planned why Parenthood is it doesn't only provide, you know, Planned Parenthood well, doesn't only provide abortions for people. Tell you, about you know, they do, you know, they do a lot more work than that as well. Dollars. So does every other city, OBGYN. We don't need Planned Parenthood to provide those services. We can go to any health clinic and get those services. Not only that, Planned Parenthood was just offered $60 million from our federal government for those funds. They to take care of those other programs. They walked away from it because the stipulation was that they couldn't use those funds to perform abortion. Now, that is no excuse for us to say we are going to support a, a, a it's documented that, that this is a racist make, organization. Because you believe that doesn't make it that that other women have to believe that. You can believe well, that we don't, against but, abortion. Well, That's fine. You to, can be against well, abortion, but you can't to, well, make another woman do what it. she wants to do with her body. I don't, I don't think she's trying to make it. Why does the Democrat Party have to pay for it? Why do us as, as pro-lifers, people that believe in life and want your children to live, your future children to live, why do our tax dollars have to pay for those children to be slaughtered? Because not only are they murdered and dismembered in the womb, but then their body parts are sold and some of them are harvested. So what they're voting for on the floor now is funding it. I don't want to support a party that wants to pay for black life to be exterminated. I do not support the Democrat Party. If you can't give black women another option besides abortion, and if every time we come up as a black people, as a community on the floor, the only thing we're being offered is free access to abortion, then that tells me you don't really care about black life. So you I'm think not that's the only option that's being die. offered? That's not the only option that's being offered. So, so people tell have, me what else people have hear options. People have options. They can choose that. They can choose to put a baby up for adoption. They can choose to have, they well, can why do whatever do they want. Like, and if they choose like they to have an abortion, why do you feel like why do you feel like ta- people who don't believe in killing babies should have to pay for it with tax dollars? If you want to abort your we, child, why do I have to pay for it? I don't feel like. Well, first of all, I don't think that what you're paying is for is just for abortions when you pay for services from a clinic. That's not all that they do. That's a small percentage of it. I'm turning away the 60 million in federal funding for those programs. So what I'm saying is what they're asking for is to fund abortion. What we're saying is we don't want to pay for it. And the same thing with sex reassignment surgery. As a conservative, it's not something that tax dollars should fund. Because you're you're anti-LGBTQIA. I'm not anti-LGBTQIA. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'm just asking. But you, I'm but you I'm did. Anti. Some of the things I don't agree with. I'm not anti because when you say anti-LGBTQ, 
Listen, folks, trust me, she wore them out. This is the kind of stuff we need. In my little channel, I'm saying the same thing, but I'm not reaching as many people as she is. She is very good. She's very awesome. She's bringing that truth, and she is shutting them down. And they're, they're looking at themselves, and they're looking at their reasoning. Look at them. Look. Look. They've been duped. They have been duped into believing the Antichrist Democrat agenda in killing black kids. I've been telling people this. That abortion is designed to wipe out the black population. And we have been supporting a party that have been killing us and we give them our vote. Why haven't we grown more above 13% in this country? Why are we still talking about mere, we're a minority? Why are other people coming in here and populating faster than us? Because we have these people right here telling folks to vote for the Democrat Party. But this woman right here, God bless this woman. God bless this woman. God bless y'all. I'm going to put the full video in the description box, down in the description box there, where my name and, and my PayPal funding is there, my PayPal account. If you want to fund the uh, conservative vote, Conservative Voters Prayer Conference, go ahead on and leave a, a donation there.